Well, May is National Celiac Disease Awareness Month. It is a disease that impacts the body's ability to digest gluten, but it can also have an impact on mental health, especially in teens. Join us now to talk more about this. We have Stanford Children's Health Dr. Hillary Jericho. Dr. Jericho, thanks so much for joining us on this Sunday. Uh, good morning, Claudine. Um, thank you so much for having me. Uh, I just want to express my thanks for allowing me to be a guest on your show, allowing me to share this incredible opportunity about my perspective and my insights on that very oh. important topic of the psychosocial uh, impact of celiac disease for your audience. Yeah, well, I think it's really important. I mean, I think people have heard a lot about gluten, you know, and, and there's a lot of people out there who may or may not just avoid it just by preference. But let's talk about celiac disease because it's much more serious. And I think people need to understand how really impactful celiac disease can be on people. For sure. Um, so I might just start out by um, describing what is celiac disease uh, in general. Um, so celiac disease is a chronic digestive disorder that affects the small intestine. It occurs when the body's immune system reacts negatively to a protein called gluten that's found in three grains, including wheat, rye, and barley. When someone with celiac disease consumes gluten, their immune system attacks the lining of the small intestine, which can cause damage and inflammation, and ultimately leads to an inability to absorb the nutrients that are required for the body to function properly. This can lead to a number of symptoms, both inside and outside the intestinal tract, including things like abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, headaches, joint pains, and other things like anxiety and depression. Yeah, I think it's interesting. I mean, I have friends who have celiac disease and certainly it's always a challenge every time we're out to make sure because it's so commonly found that it is not in their food because it's so impactful. But the mental health impacts I don't think is are really talked about, especially when you're talking about children and teens. How, why does celiac affect mental health and, and why does it lead to, to things like anxiety and other issues? That is a phenomenal question, uh, Claudine. Thank you for asking that. And it is true. We see very, very high rates of anxiety and depression in our celiac patients, actually both before the diagnosis and after the diagnosis. And it's felt that that malnutrition caused by celiac disease and the lack of nutrients that the body needs to function properly can lead to symptoms of low energy, fatigue, difficulty concentrating, focusing, and just really function, functioning as a whole. Mm -hmm. And as you can imagine, no one feels good day after day with those symptoms, which ultimately leads to those feelings of anxiety and depression. Yes. In addition, that inability to focus and concentrate is often misperceived as ADHD. But in reality, it's thought to be secondary to that malnutrition. And the majority of the time, once the children start that gluten-free diet and their nutrition improves, those symptoms improve. I think having that diagnosis, yeah, yeah is, is so important. Yeah. I, I, let me interrupt yeah. really quickly to just say, you know, you're talking about this and, and for kids too, they don't want to feel different. They don't want to have to ask for extra, you know, different types of meals. And, and I think that's why the awareness may be so important. I think we're better than we have ever been relative to understanding gluten-free diets and having that offering in different places. But kind of moving forward, what do you, what do you hope? I mean, we can always Im improve upon this and be as a society just more aware and more thoughtful absolutely absolutely and it's it's uh constantly about having these interactions being able to get out there spread the word um helping to empower our community um because that psychosocial impact is so great especially in our children um we actually at stanford medicine children's health center for ibd and celiac disease have recognized this and we are very excited to announce the launch of our peer-to-peer -peer and mentor mentee program for our children children ages 13 to 17 with mentors 18 to 25 for the fall of 2023. This program is intended to support, connect, and empower both the children and their families living with celiac disease. Oh, that's so important. Knowing that you're not alone, knowing you have a support group, uh, knowing their pathways out, uh, also important. Uh, we have to leave it there, Dr. Jericho, but we appreciate you coming on our show and giving us more uh, information. And, and as we all learn together, uh, we can be a better sport network for us all. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me, Claudine.